हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चेतन वजड़िया एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चंस बाय डायरेक्ट मेथड एंड एज्यूम्ड मीन मेथड दिस क्वेश्चंस आर स्पेशली फॉर डायरेक्ट मेथड एंड एज्यूम्ड मीन मेथड गाइस एक्चुअली आई हैड सिलेक्टेड दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज 14.1 एनसीईआरटी क्लास 10 चैप्टर नंबर 14 स्टैटिस्टिक सो दे सेड अ सर्वे वाज कंडक्टेड बाय ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ देयर एनवायरमेंटल environment awareness program in which they collected the following data regarding the number of plants in 20 houses in a locality find the number mean number of plants per houses and one more thing is there they also told which method you are going to use and why you are going to use that so let me tell you when your numbers when your numbers are very small means you can say the class is also very small and 0 to 2 up to two digit number you can see up to two digit numbers are there little up to 50 or less than 50 if numbers are there then you can go for assume sorry direct mean method and if the numbers are very big or the gap is also very big or it is in decimal at that time you need to go with assume mean method how and why that i will tell you later let me let us start by solving this one. for finding mean by direct method direct method mean by direct method you need to first of all find out the class mark class mark means find out the midpoint of this midpoint you need to find out the midpoint so first of all midpoint and we will give that midpoint name is xi this is your class this is your frequency you can call this class mark class mark mean midpoint as xi this will become number of houses will become your fi frequency so how you are going to find out midpoint of 0 and 2 if you don't know how to find out just add them and divide by 2 0 plus 2 divide by 2 2 by 2 will give you 1 and 2 and 3 directly also we will get this 2 and 4 is given so the midpoint is 3 but if numbers are very big just you need to add them and divide by 2 so that you will get the midpoint here 5 Six and eight, so seven will be the midpoint. Nine will be the midpoint of this class, and eleven and thirty. Now directly you need to multiply this fi and xi. So that is called product of fi xi or summation of fi xi. Let me one one is a one, two three is a six, one five is a five, seven five is a thirty five. Nine six is a fifty four, eleven two is a twenty two, and thirteen three is a thirteen. Now you need to add this, and you need to add frequency also. Both you need to add. Why? Because our formula for finding the mean by direct method, direct method that is sigma, or you can say summation of f i x i upon sum of f i. So here you will get uh, sum of this one plus six seven seven plus five twelve or seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and nine thirty thirty one thirty two two here three carry three three six six plus five eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so one sixty two and the sum of this will be obviously twenty house per selected so sum of this will be twenty twenty only. Now what just you need to do? You need to put up the values here. Sum of fi x i is 162, and sum of fi is 20. So if you will divide, decimal will come here because you will you can remove 16.2 by 2, and then 8.1. That will be your mean. So x bar will be 8.1, whatever they said. Okay, eight point one will be the mean of this data. Okay, so this is direct method, and here the numbers were very small. Now we are going to move towards assumed mean method. Let us see. You can see here the numbers hundred to one twenty big numbers are there, and at that time we need to multiply with big numbers. So calculation will become little bit uh, lengthy. So to reduce that, we are going to use the next method that is. assumed mean method so here we are going to solve this sum by assumed mean method this is our frequency and first thing that we need to find out every time in mean is class mark or you can say the midpoint or xi from the class how i told you just find out the midpoint of 100 to 
or you can directly add them and divide by 2 if you will add them and divide by 2 110 will be the answer directly also you can do but i am telling you if you don't know then you need to just add them and divide by 2 then midpoint is 150 midpoint of this will be 170 midpoint of this will be 190 now if you will multiply this by solving fi into xi you can see the numbers are very big and your calculation will become very big so to reduce that we are going to find out or we are going to assume one term out of this xi as assume win generally we are selecting the middle number if two numbers are there means if six terms are there you can select any third or fourth any term but here five terms are there so i'm i'm going to select the middle term as here assumed mean a now what you need to find out xi minus a that is called di di is equals to xi minus a come on if we will subtract this 110 minus 150 minus 40 130 minus 150 minus 20 150 minus 150 0 170 minus 150 positive 20 and here 190 minus positive 40 so this way to reduce the number we need to find out di with the help of assume mean method now what we are we were doing in the previous question directly fi into xi we were doing here we are going to multiply fi with this di this is this will become fi di and this method is called assumed mean method assumed mean method okay so fi into di come on multiply fi and di minus 0 and 4 to the 8 and 4 480 again this also 0 4 to the 8 and this will be 4 to the, and 2 ones are 2 minus let me check it 4 to the 8 and 4 ones are 4 okay 0 4 to the 8 and 2 ones are 2 okay 0 then 6 to the 12 120 and then 40 into 10 400 so here the sum will be uh, 400 and this 400 will go so first of all let me do like this way minus 0 6 carry 1 minus 760 and here you will get uh, positive 520 so if you will add this to negative and positive what will be your answer 0 4 and 2 minus 240 will be the answer okay now the formula here the formula changes how x bar is equals to what we were doing there sigma fi xi by sigma fi uh, we were doing here we have to do sigma fi di upon or you can say sum of fi but here we had subtracted a from all these terms what we had we had done subtracted a from all these terms so now here we are going to add a with all this term this formula is of assumed mean method just you need to put up 150 our a was 150 so 150 plus minus 240 divide by our FIDA was minus 240 now sum of FI that we had not done but I think they told us 50 workers were there and this survey was conducted on 50 workers so the sum of this will be 50 only let us check 22 3 carry 3 4 5 50 is the sum so here the sum is 50 so I'm going to write down 50 here 0 0 will get cancel 150 plus minus minus and here if you will cancel 4.8 i think 4 is 20 and 4.8 will come and if you will subtract this this will be 145.2 so your x bar is or your mean is 145.2 by assumed mean method so this way we are going to solve this type of question in my next video i am going to solve all the questions of mean median mod of chapter number 14 so please be on that and if you like my video please subscribe guys and like and share with your friends too guys thank you so much for watching my video